They got Money Bag Yo on here. Chris Brown, Love Baby. They got Quan up here with the greats. Like what the? What? <laughs> what? Hey, hey, Post Malone, DJ Khaled. Yeah, they got look, 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 Quan, look, 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 twenty year old Quan. You know what I'm saying, look, young from Atlanta. That just trying to make it by posting videos and you know what I'm saying. Sean on God, appreciate the sub, gang, appreciate the sub. Shout out to you, my boy. But look, we finna get shit into it. Let, let's get shit into it. Let's get shit into it. Hold on, hold on. Y'all folks get y'all snacks, kick y'all feet up, shut up, and just watch. Let me uh definitely my Discord right quick. I'm probably talking to these folk. All right, boom, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. How to do it. Oh, hold on. All right, now let's do it. I'm gonna go in for everyone like the video. I need for all y'all any comments and spam w's are spam cozy i need y'all to do that let no folk know like what the f on. all right boom let's do it all right boom all right boom let's do it all right you've probably seen them while scrolling on your <laughs> what the f this is one of them professional videos that you see celebrity ass famous i'm on this what the, f what the f come on run that back look how the intro came in look bias That's Quan, bro. What the? F that's Quan. What the? F <laughs> Make that your intro. Hey, I just might. I just might. Fire is like, bro. I know y'all watch videos like this on y'all free time. Like, when y'all bored, you just see recommend y'all see some video like this with a celebrity or something, and it's just a cool video. Quan, bro. Like, I'm not no celebrity. Fight. One more time. We're gonna run it back one more time. Damn! You've probably seen him while scrolling on your TikTok. Yeah. Jorah's lifestyle. Yeah. And cars are a part of his day to day. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Yeah. What the fuck? Y'all nigga done made it, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I'm gonna just shut the fuck up. But this shit hard. Hold on, hold on. You've probably seen him while scrolling on your TikTok. Jorah's lifestyle, jewelry, and cars are a part of his day to day life. Jaquan Howard, known. <laughs> They got me on the big screen, mama. I gotta send this shit to my mama. I gotta send this shit to my mama. Lifestyle, jewelry, and cars are a part of his day to day life. Jaquan Howard, known online as Poppy Q or Quan, yeah. for his vlogs on YouTube, covering yeah. topics like travels, personal relationships, and cars. Fuck? Or recently on TikTok with his flashy videos. He covers today a total of over a million subscribers across social media, which is. Damn. Nigga, what the fuck? T. Wilder, appreciate the sub, gang. This shit fire as fuck. Like, nigga, real dead just took time out of his life, or probably a group of people took time out of their life, sat down and put together a video for me, like, Quan, like, on some real shit. I'm not no celebrity. I'm not no fucking. I ain't Drake, nigga. I'm, 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 I'm Quan, nigga. It's wild for 20 year old. Quan's passion over everything is American road killers. From Hellcats to track cars. Yeah! <laughs> raw muscle. So today on the celebrity. Yeah, hey. Hey, I just said I was finna, you know what I'm saying? Let that, that, let that Mopar shit go away. Fuck that. I'm not, I'm getting another Mopar. I gotta go. I gotta be the king of Mopar at this point. I gotta get another Mopar. I got to. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's meant to be. I got to. I got to. Hey. Cars, let's take a detailed look at Quan's car collection. Unlike most teenagers, Quan bought his first car when he was only 17 years old. You hear me? The dream car in question was a graphite yeah. Dodge Challenger. <laughs> Nigga, when I when I when I was going to get my first car, I dad told my mom, I was like, Ma, oh, that boy get the five subs. Appreciate you, gang. Shout out to you, my boy. You a real one, no cap. But look, check this out. So I told my dudes, I was like, for my first car, like I want a Challenger. Like I love the way Challengers look. They look cool as fuck, mind you. I was like, I like cars, but I wasn't as much as into cars as I am now. So, check this out. I told my dudes, I was like, I want a Challenger. I don't care what kind of Challenger. I just wanted to have black, black rims. You know what I'm saying? I just want black rims. That's all I want. A Challenger with black rims. And a newer Challenger, like 2015 plus, cut the 20, anything below 2015, it had the, the whack ass headlights. But I told my dudes, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? My mom, my way told me you do good in school, I'm going to reward you. So, 
And she she did. She stood on what she said. You know what I'm saying? So I was, you know I'm saying, doing great in school. I ain't gonna lie. In school, on my report card, I never had a C. Never. So I was, you know what I'm saying? I was him in school. I ain't gonna lie. Check this out. Check this out. But I told my dudes, I want a challenger with black rims. And as y'all see my first car, <clears throat> how do I full screen? If y'all want to watch it in full screen, you got to turn off your um, rotation lock on your phone and then turn your phone to the side. That's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Turn off your rotation lock and turn that bit to the side. I look, boom, check this out. So I wanted a challenger with black rims so bad that she made that shit happen. But y'all got my first car when I was 17. That was that. Let, let me rewind it right quick. A collection. Unlike most teenagers, Quan bought his first car when he was only 17 years old. The dream car in question was a graphite gray Dodge Challenger, the base model one, with 20 inch black rims, stripes on the hood, LED yeah. lights, and an all digital <laughs> dashboard. The first Challenger was introduced in the 1970s. The modern Dodge Challenger is still a powerful and exciting car with a range of engine options that can deliver impressive horsepower and torque. It also features modern technology and amenities such as touchscreen displays, advanced safety features, and premium audio system. Bro, this shit is fire as fuck. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, nigga? Nigga made a whole video about Quan. Lil' old Quan. Overall, the Dodge Challenger is a symbol of American automotive culture and an enduring icon of the muscle car era. And Quan didn't stop there. In fact, it was just the beginning. His second car was a knuckle white 2018 Dodge Charger ah! RT390. And that car changed my fucking life, I swear to God. That car changed my life, I kid you not. Like, this and then, then the Challenger. The Challenger changed my life too. I, I, I. Two scat pack. He bought one when he was 18. This was the first car I got in my name. You know what I'm saying? No, it wasn't this. It was the Hellcat. But let's keep watching. It was time for him to move on to a V8. Specifically, the Charger Scat Pack is equipped with a 6.4 liter. When I had turned 18, I was still building my credit and shit. And my mom had co-signed me on this. But let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. MBV8 engine that delivers 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque, making it one of the most powerful vehicles in this class. It also features a sport tuned suspension, Brembo brakes, and a performance exhaust system. Overall, the Charger Scat Pack is designed for drivers who want the power and performance of a muscle car, but also value modern technology and comfort. He this customized shit, later boy. this one with a brown wrap. Ooh, they got mocha in it, bitch. Hey, when I wrap, when I wrap my, uh, my Charger Mocha and came up with the name Mocha, it was just like, I used to always watch, like growing up, I used to always watch people get their cars wrapped. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas with crazy car collections with crazy ad raps. And when I got my first car rap, it was like, damn, like, nigga, I just got a car rap. Like, it'd be like little shit like that that mattered to me the most, like. Cause shit, I used to look up, you know what I'm saying? I used to watch videos of people getting their cars wrapped when I didn't have a car when I was young as fuck. And then, boom, time go by, I get a little older. I rap up, man. Hey. Black stripes and a wide kit for a more outstanding look to it. His taste is very curated. 12 months after, the car ah! maker purchased the yellow Dodge Challenger. This was the car that changed my fucking life. This was the first car I got in my name, all me. Like, no handouts, no nothing. Just straight Quan. Like, boy, I ain't. I was watching videos on this car earlier, bro. I was watching videos of my old Challenger earlier, bro. Like, niggas don't understand, like, how much cars come mean to a nigga, bro. Like, some people just see cars as, like, cars are. Why you so young buying these these cars? Are you know what I'm saying? Why are you wasting money on cars? It's not a good investment, bro. Cars changed my fucking life. I ain't gonna lie, like nigga, when I was when I wasn't there mentally, I just go hop in my car and just drive and listen to music. I go home, be straight. Like people don't understand how much a a, a car can do for somebody, like or not even a car it can be anything, like. Nigga could go, nigga could like shoes. He'd go buy shoes. Like that's, that take his mind off of whatever the fuck he got his mind on. He go buy shoes, go, go wear shoes, clothes, anything. It could be anything. But cars is like, I just go on the drive, just clear my mind. Nigga, cars got me through my darkest points in my life that I've been through so far. I cannot lie. I can say this on some real shit. I can say this. If it wasn't for this car right here, I probably would not be here today. Like I probably would not be alive. Not even on no, not even on no, on no crazy ass shit. I'm just saying like, Nigga, I was I was fucked up in the head, bro. Like I was out, oh, man. Hey, I ain't even gonna get too much into that. But you know, niggas is good now. Niggas mentally straight now. But it, it, I was at a point in my time in my life 
when I had my challenger, it was just like, oh man, hey, hey boy. SRT Hellcat finally moving up with the big dogs. He also put a wide body kit on this one, changed yeah, the man. rims and the interior as well. No the Hellcat care. models are one of the most popular in American culture. Rappers and millionaires love to slide in the city with these cool whips and Quan is no different. But while many keep their rides subtle, he loves to customize them to the fullest. I'm trying That's to tell you man, come on man. Has some tight ass pants on though. Quit digging. Why you digging? Quit digging gang. You just, you, you need to relax. Bet guy, appreciate the sub, my boy, you're a real one. Oh damn, my boy, appreciate you gang. People be judging when you spend money on shit like clothes and shoes and that bad investment when they turn around and go spend money on hella other bullshit. They forget not everything got to be an investment. I'm trying to tell you, like, niggas could buy shit that make them happy sometimes. Like, God damn, quit hey. That's why they stand out so much. After being yellow for a couple of months, he wrapped the cozy cat in this gorgeous sand color. Yeah. Brown stripes on it. Hey, y'all ain't never seen no nigga wrap a car this same color, bro. With brown, with the brown stripes. Y'all ain't never seen that shit before. Never. That shit. Hey. 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 The car hey. now looked like he came straight from Fast and Furious. Honestly, one of the best raps I've ever seen. He maybe spent a total of a hundred grand on it. I did indeed put some money into that car. Like as soon as I got it, I started modding that shit with the wide body kit, with the rims, with the fucking stars, with the steering wheel. Like I threw hella money into that car. That why y'all know, you know what I'm saying? That shit got me through some dark times. And this car right here, I was supposed to get a trackhawk, bro, because I wanted a trackhawk so bad when I had my challenger. Like I wanted a trackhawk so bad. Like every time I see a trackhawk on the road, or every time I see a trackhawk video on Instagram, I save that shit. Or if I see a trackhawk on the road, I record that shit. Like, I got hella trackhawk videos in my phone. Not hella, because you don't see a trackhawk everywhere. But every time I did see one, I recorded and got um, yeah. So I was, you know, what I'm saying, trying to get a hawk, woot woot. Mind you, I'm doing all this shit on my own. No cosign at this point. No, no, no. Just straight me. You know what I'm saying? 20 year old me. Well, 19 year old me at the time. So I go try to get a track hawk. They deny me. I'm like, fuck. What do I do now? Then I ended up selling my Hellcat and making hella profit off selling the Hellcat. So I was like, I bet I'm going to get a hawk. Tell me why I ended up going to a fucking dealership, seeing this Hellcat. I was like, I'm going to get this shit. This shit fires for. This shit is crazy. So that's how that went. I ain't going to lie. Shit crazy. Literally, I told my... Hold on. I'm sorry for keep pausing the video, y'all. But I told myself... I sold my Challenger one day. Then I told myself, all right, I'm going to wait a week or two for it to hit up on my credit. Because the next month was coming into place. I was like, I'm going to wait a week or two for it to hit into my credit. Then I'm going to go get that track out. Nigga, I woke up the next day. Nigga, literally, going from driving a Hellcat every day to going to have not having a car at all. You crazy. For, I woke up the next day. I went back up to the dealership. And I told Brown, like, I want the cat. Give me the cat. Feel like paperwork, woo the woo. They do this shit right now. They get this shit up out the way. I ain't wait no two weeks, no none of that. I just woke up and was like, fuck it. That's a problem I do have though. Like, I fuck around. Now. If I want something, I'm gonna get that shit. Simple as that. But yeah, let, uh, like if that one wasn't enough, he decided to splurge on a second one, a Charger SRT Hellcat. This time, the two tone beast is apple green at the front and matte black at the back. And for even more attitude, the transition of color is made with the Hellcat logo, which makes it look even more aggressive than ever. The calipers are also green with a peanut butter interior and Rolls Royce starlight ceiling. The full size sedan produces up to 717 horsepower. It Not that one. I ain't gonna lie. That cat was a little geeked up. That cat was a little geeked up. That cat is geeked up. Niggas don't know that though. We gonna keep that between us. You know what I'm saying? It's a high performance sedan that offers a unique combination of power, speed, and comfort. And is a popular choice among automotive enthusiasts who value performance and style. This was Corey Pritchett's old car actually, fun fact. One month ago, he decided to go dark and wrapped it matte yeah. black with red <laughs> lights that look super, super nice. This man seems to buy cars like we buy bread. Eight months ago, Quan purchased a bright red Jeep Grand Cherokee yeah. track hawk that he But when I got my track hawk, I did I cry? I ain't cry, but like I ain't gonna lie, I take a lot for me to cry. Like some shit got really hurt, like hit me for me to cry. When I moved the last time I could say that I truly cried was when I moved into my own spot. When I when I moved into my first spot. That shit hit me like a fucking train, boy. But when I got there, hot, that shit hit home. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on, nigga? I'm 19 years old with a fucking track up. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm thinking the same thing y'all thinking. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck going on? Like, is this shit really happening? I'm really making this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, I be thinking the same shit y'all be thinking like, how the fuck do he do this shit? Nigga, I don't know how the fuck I do this shit. I just be doing this shit, but that shit crazy though. All right, yeah, let's do it. Afterwards, also wrapped in his favorite sand color. Considered as the fastest SUV in the world, the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk features a spacious and luxurious cabin with leather trim seats, a premium audio system, and a high-tech infotainment system that is compatible with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It is a high-performance SUV that offers a unique combination of power, speed, and luxury, and is a popular choice among automotive enthusiasts who value performance and versatility. The price of one of these SUVs is around $105,000. So as of now, Quan owns two cars, a Dodge SRT Hellcat and a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. But Damn, overall- Damn, they got all the whips up in there. Hold on, chat, hold on, chat, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that echo, I'm sorry for that echo, I'm sorry for that echo. I just gotta change something right quick, hold on, hold on, hold on. They got all the whips at that though. That shit, why as hell, shorty? All right, look, look. Oh, he bo They got, you know what I'm saying? This ain't mine, but this is a, I'm saying this is not a V6 even. This is a Hemi. They got the scat, cat, the track, other cat. That shit hard. Yeah, he he did indeed forget the BRZ. A lot of people don't know I had that car. That shit crazy as hell. You gonna get your little bro a cat? I might get him a scat. I ain't gonna lie. I might do end up getting him a scat when he graduate on some shit. Pop out, get to him the wide body scat. That'd be hard. Didn't show the BRZ no love. I I did it. I ain't gonna lie. I should have I should have worked on that shit. Shit, fuck it. Bought more than five cars before twenty years old, and the value of his entire fleet is around four hundred thousand dollars. We can't wait to see what his next purchase is gonna be. Drop your thoughts in the comments, and also if you're Team Charger or Team Challenger. Thank you so much. What chat? What y'all like better? Y'all like Chargers or Challengers? Yo, appreciate the sub, Joseph. You a real one. You know what I'm saying? Do you still want the entry? I low key still do. I ain't gonna lie. What y'all like better though? Chargers or challengers? Charlie, Charlie, Charger, 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 Charger.